Hello and welcome to Motors for the Masses in what is a product review, but it's something that I've designed myself and I'm marketing myself. So let's roll the intro and get cracking. So before I talk about the product itself, let me talk a little bit about what I wanted specifically and why I went for this kind of jacket. Well, I wanted to do a jacket for a while. Um, and as you know, we also do the bespoke design leather jackets. However, I wanted something that was a bit more um, everyday use and textile and cheaper than getting a bespoke made leather jacket. So here it is textile jacket as it is. But again, I wanted something that was not only retro looking, but quite modern in its design, um, which can be used on a variety of motorcycle styles, which is why I'm doing two different colors as well. Um, so I wanted something that was uh, okay on vintage bikes, okay on classic bikes, okay on modern bikes that you can use pretty much all the time in all kinds of weathers and still be functional and cheap enough to sell to you, the general public. So let's talk more about the product itself. Well, the design, first of all, I've seen these on jackets before with the ridges and stuff like that. So I definitely wanted these raised ridges in the jacket, which is why I've gone for three down here and three down the other side. I also wanted the ribbed looked across the top, which is what I've got on here and I'll show you more closely the design's um, features in a second. Also needed vents, which is why you've got waterproof vents in here as well with waterproof zips, so it's nice and flush. Um, I also wanted some uh, subtle design features, but also functional, which is why I've gone for the red, white and blue, which matches with my Lightning Storm logo, uh, red, white and blue, of course. Um, it's not the French flag, which I have been pointed out to by Malcolm, but he's wrong. Um, <laughs> it's quite retro looking. It's more sort of um, Royal Air Force. Let's go with that. Um, Lightning Storm logo on there, of course. And then I came up with this design. Now, the Lightning Storm, obviously Lightning Bolt goes with Lightning Storm. But again, I wanted the, the tri-color in there, which is why I've gone for the red, white and blue Lightning Bolt on there. Um, the white is actually reflective, as is the reflection bit down here. Um, and then on the rear, we've gone for the same, it follows, so it goes round the arm, I want it to go round the arm and then down the arm. It's quite retro looking, but also modern at the same time. So as you can see there, look, it goes round. Um, and then on the back, we've got it at the bottom as well. Again, the white bin reflective and the Lightning Storm logo on the back there. I didn't want to cover it in logos. I wanted it to be quite subtle, but also functional and I think cool looking. Now, again, with the design features, uh, we've got the ribbed section on the back here. Um, and then we've got the raised bit on here. Uh, it also comes with shoulder, elbow and back armor. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment, but I wanted to have that. There's so many bike jackets out there that you get the shoulder and elbow is standard, but the back is usually optional extra. And I wanted that included, but I also didn't want just basic pad. I wanted decent armor. So stay tuned for more in a second and I'll talk some more about that. I've also got vents down the side here. So we've got another air vent down the side. Again, in the summer, I want you to be able to wear this as well as in the winter. So for design wise, there you go. Now it's gonna be coming in two colors, the black and gray. Uh, the gray is a bit more vintage looking and the black is, well, a lot of people like black, don't they? But again, I didn't want black with black. I wanted it to be functional with the reflection. So you can be seen at night but it's still not overkill and it's not boring and dull. 
So, there you go with the design. Please let me know in the comment section below what you think of it, and I shall bring you in for a closer look and show you more about the features of it. So starting with the arm, we've got the adjustable clips. Um, now, a lot of these design bits I have specified that I wanted, so I've told them exactly what I want on the jacket, and they've designed it to my specifications. So these are adjustable. You can bring them in if you've got thinner arms or during the summer where you're not wearing a jumper underneath or a hoodie underneath. So you can bring that in and make the arms a bit thinner. Um, I also, on the sleeve, um, had to have the Velcro bit and of course the zip section here. And I'll talk more about what you get inside in a second. Moving round to the pocket area, of course, pockets like so. Waterproof pockets and the adjustable Velcro bit at the side so you can adjust it and make it tighter, tighter or a little bit looser, however it fits your shape. On the top, as I said, uh, you've got the waterproof um, zip here so you can't get water going in and that opens up to be a vent inside also. So during the summer or during hot weather, you can get some nice airflow. The front, you've got the Velcro bit here and a waterproof zip. Thusly, it goes all the way down obviously and then comes across neatly along there. So on the back, as well as the armor pad inside, and I'll talk a bit more about that in a second, you've got these ridges on here, just a nice little subtle design and a little bit of extra padding on the back there. And then here, as I say, you've got another air vent for the airflow to come out. Um, the ribbed bit is stretchy, like so, elasticated. So you've got a bit of movement in there also, so it's not a stiff jacket. And the ribbing across the top, which is slightly padded, and then you've got the armour underneath, and it's just a nice design feature, I feel. So when you open up the jacket, as I say, you've got the double flap to stop any water getting in. Open the zip and inside you've got the quilted um, lining, which of course is removable. And then under that you've got a waterproofing section. Um, again, if you don't want that, that is also removable. And then you've got the Airtex design inside that, still complete with a mobile phone holder pocket. Uh, you've got one of those on the quilted bit also. And another big pocket, which I definitely wanted to have on the other side, because quite often you find a jacket has got one pocket and not quite enough of any others. So I've got a deep pocket on this side and a uh, phone holder pocket on the other side, thusly. And the same under there, also in the air text bit, there's also a pocket in there also. Now, one thing you have to make sure these days is that it is CE approved, and I've made sure that this is definitely CE approved protection and a CE approved jacket. So that is guaranteed. That I do have the CE approval paperwork for, so it is a CE approved jacket. So looking on the inside, the protection, I didn't just want any normal, um, back pad. I wanted level two armor. I specified that particularly that I wanted level two armor. So this is the level two approved armor in the back, the shoulders and the elbows. So there we go, a nice level two pad in there. Very nice indeed. Very pleased with that. Now something I felt was a very important factor was sizing. Now Quite often when people try on jackets, they think, oh, I didn't think I was that big because the jacket is usually designed to go over what you're also wearing. So I'm quite often either an XL or a 2XL when I'm not actually that big. So this, obviously I choose what sizes needs to be what. This one I'm marketing as an L. Um, so it'll make you feel a little bit better. So this is a large. And it fits me because it's designed to my specifications or my size very nicely. There we go. You can 
easily do the zip up because it's a nice big chunky zip and I'll talk about what the features are on here in a second. Sorry if it goes muffled, but the microphone's inside now. There you go. Fits me beautifully. Very pleased with the length. Um, obviously I had to give all the measurements of my size, which is quite average. And this is marketed as a large. So there we go. What do you think? I love the fit. I love the finish. I love the cut. It is very well designed, I feel, and feels very comfortable. Uh, very pleased with it. Very pleased with the outcome. It's very comfortable. It's very lightweight, but it's nice and easy to maneuver in. And there you go. Yeah. So this is the Lightning Storm. I haven't given it a model name yet. I will do by the time we come to market it. Perhaps you can help me out on that. There you go. This is the Lightning Storm jacket, but let's have some clues and some ideas from you as to what the model is going to be. Please keep it clean and sensible. I'm sure, you know, yes, I'd like to call it the, the Lightning Storm Bell End also, but it's not really realistic, is it? So let's have something decent in a suggestion, shall we? Okay, right, well, there you go. What do you think? As I say, it's going to be available in black or grey, and I've got gloves coming to match also in black and grey. Sizes are going to be small, medium, large, extra large, and 2XL. And this is large, where I would normally be an XL. So it's probably going to go to in other jacket sizes, small or medium, medium to large, large to XL, XL to 2XL, 2XL to 3XL style. But this is going to be small, medium, large, extra large, and 2XL in black and grey. Yeah, sorry. So what do you think? Please let me know in the comment section below. Um, price, I know that's what you're asking. Well, it's going to be 119.99, 119.99, UK British pounds. And I don't think that's a bad price at all. There. So, a motorbike jacket that's affordable, easy to use, nice and comfortable, lightweight, and I think aesthetically pleasing. So what are these labels on here? Well, as you can see on here again, you've got the CE approved level two armor label on there. The CE protection label on there also. Um, it's using Cordura polyester, um, a 100% waterproof. The CE protection, um, PLR Thermaline A grade. Uh, the zip is made by YKK and a scotch light reflective material in the white that you see on there. And that is all I've got to say for this episode. So thank you very much for joining me. I'll be back very soon with lots of other stuff, including bike reviews also. And I've got some exciting news coming about future videos. Um, I've got a nice collaboration coming with um, some world champion motorcycle riders. So stay tuned for that and British champion as well. And some more coming on bikes that aren't out yet. But I'm going to be getting something as a long term loan that I can report on. So stay tuned for that for more upcoming news also. So thank you very much for joining me. I'll be back next time very soon, as I say. And until next time, please ride and drive carefully, but have fun. Available very, very soon.